Ains Hill. On December the 12th, uh, there was a Rains house. I'll show you close where it was when we get up here. Uh, but they, uh, federal soldiers were getting near the house by their family. The man, Mr. Rains, uh, uh, killed some, uh, a federal soldier. They but opened up cannons on that house later, and he died. Died from that. Died from that. Straight on. I don't know how many are into stock car racing. Uh, I, it was never a big thing for me, but they used to have the Winston Cup over here. Cuckoo Marlin, Sterling Marlin's father, 7-Eleven. I remember watching him race over here. A lot of races in the old days, not many today. When we come up here, we're going to take a right. Used to be in the fairgrounds here, it's open fair park, and, but there are a lot of artifacts found to your left right there. A lot of artifacts found over there to your left. That's from the line from Granbury's Lynette Confederate moving on down. Of course, that's north to our left. And a skirmish through here. USCTs were absolutely slaughtered up here. Uh, this is Stedman's Brigade, uh, Divi Stedman's Division Command, the Department of the Ottawa or Ottawa. And uh, remember, this is the feint with the left and coming over with your right, which is the redoubts up there. So not here, but the next one, Polk Avenue will take a left. And preservation by proxy here. This uh, there's a business next to this uh, lunette, and nobody really knew what it was until they were told the the, the people own this little business and they donated that uh, to be saved. Very very kind. It's it's a lot bigger than what you'll see when you see up here. It's just a little portion that connects to the railroad tracks and the track behind the lunette was not there during the war, but I'll describe what occurred here. There was a, a captain in, that, in the USCTs, a white man by the name of Job Aldrich. Job Aldrich. And I'll describe the letter he penned, recite at 1 p.m. on December 15th, and he went down on about a, 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 a six hours, seven hours later. Okay, sir, you see where that brown building is over there? To your right? See the little brown? Yeah, turn right in there. And or you can pull right over here in front of the place, just like that. Yeah, right there. And see the Texas flag in front of you? That's just a portion of the lunette. It went all the way to that railroad track behind us. What is lunette? Lunar, the lunar moon, and open air. Kind of, yeah, yeah. A lunette would be more like half moon, like a lunar thing, more like a, like a half moon. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir
We can move a little bit closer, folks. <clears throat> we got a kicking in high gear. We got a lot to see, and we're running out of time here. Uh, it's not your fault whatsoever. It's nobody's fault. But this Lynette, Grand Bears Lynette, it was larger than this. It went all the way out to that Nashville Chattanooga Railroad, which is right over there, and the railroad deep, deep cut out through there. We're going to walk down there in a moment. But it went all the way out to there. The Rains Hill is over there, Murfreesboro Road is over there as well, going from Nashville to Murfreesboro. Toward Murfreesboro, they call it the old Nashville Highway, where they get to Stones River Park, but it's still the Murfreesboro Road. And remember, with the Federals, as I said five times, the Federals are going to be faking with your left and coming over with your right. This is at 6 a.m., James Stedman's command. Uh, Morgan and Thompson's brigade that were USCTs, Morgan and Thompson's brigades, and then Grosner's brigade that were a white brigade. Ironically, they're the ones that performed the worst, and the USCTs performed the best. Here in it, probably Peach Worth the Hill. Uh, that's not fair to say that, but they performed as well as the white brigades at Peach Worth the Hill. But nonetheless, Thompson's U uh, USCTs are moving down this area, moving down this area, and of course there's a cornfield over here, Morgan's Command is moving down this area, Thompson's is moving on out, yet well, they're not going to be in the fight, so on this area is Grosner's Command, they were white, they were 18 Ohio, and I forget all the regiments, or, or, and then uh, are the 40, this is Morgan's Black Brigade, are the 44th USCTs. Um, the 14th USCTs and other commands, I think the 100th USCTs, I believe. But nonetheless, everything, there were logs there in there, palisades as they call them, that's obstructions and such. Joe Baldrich, he's a lieutenant by the way, uh, he sent, penned a letter at 1 a.m. on December 15th and to the effect, the clock strikes one, farewell. At 5 o'clock, the dance of death begins around Nashville. Who will answer the call? Echo Lone answers who? Only God knows. And at about 7 a.m., he was killed here. And he was a, a brother-in-law, William Shafter. William Shafter, who was a Spanish-American war thing. And they brought that letter back to his wife. His wife. And very, very sad. But nonetheless, the blacks are coming from across here. <clears throat> They're getting caught in this trap. The Confederate battle line went on down, on down that way toward the fairgrounds. They're getting caught in this trap here, and that railroad cut was going to go down the sea. It's deeper now than it was then. Then it was about 20 feet deep, which is pretty deep to me. And they got caught in this trap, and Granberries is shooting the hell out of them. The, the morning after Franklin, Granberries went in with 1,100 rifles at 378 inch of the roll call, and there was not more than that that was here of the Texans. And they were start working on this on December 13th. Uh, earlier, Cheatham was in, uh, was in this area, and it, you remember where we were before? That's Fort Negley right over there, and there's the water reservoir as well. There's the ballpark right there, Sounds Baseball Park with those lights, and fired shells on them over here, almost hit them. But they got caught in this railroad cut, and they were jumping in the cut, they were being slaughtered down there, and just, just annihilated down here. Uh, most people claim that they downplayed the casualties for the blacks because they didn't want the publicity about them slaughtering the blacks kind of things. A lot of people think that the casualties are a lot more than the Federals said for the Battle of Nashville, and for these USCTs as well. And, just, and they were jumping there and just being annihilated in this cut here. Down there, we're going to walk down there in a moment. And this is just, once again, a portion of the Lynette. It went all the way out to the railroad track then. And these people so kind let people come here, and they didn't even know what they had, and they realized, and they donated. Texans always put a flag up there for the, uh, for the Grand Bears Texans that were holding this, what's left of them, what's left of them here. And so I want to take you here. we got a lot to see in the little time we have left. But very, uh, I guess I'll ask again, Clay, you've been here, haven't you? Yeah. And 
here. Maurice has and a few others, I bet. But nonetheless. And this that, is the post-Civil War railroad right yeah. there. That's right. Behind you, that's that was not there during the war. That was built after the war. But that one down there is the National Chattanooga. That was there. And uh, I want to take you before we run out of time. I want to take you. Yes, we don't get on the bridge, but I'll guide you, whatever. And then we'll get down there and I'll show you where they were just slaughtered down there. Just slaughtered. Are we actually standing right there at this point? Yes, we're right at that right pump, there, right back right there. there, looking that way. Yes. And you see how that line started across the road track? Yeah. Pow, 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 all the way down to Bates Division. That's the fairgrounds we go through. Okay. Right down there. Yeah. Yeah, well, listen, right? Listen, listen about. Five. Once you get on this bridge and get killed, it'd ruin the tour. <laughs> and um, with that foliage growing up, if you want to risk it, I'm not your daddy, of course. Uh, please don't get down there, you'll fall. But there's the railroad just down there. It's deeper than it was then. Then it was about 20 feet deep. But these blacks were getting caught with go vans over there, swinging that door shut on them, and the Texans here, and annihilated them. They had one way to go down or out. And they were slaughtered down here, just slaughtered. They claim uh, uh, three or four hundred casualties, many consider it a lot, lot more. But James Stedman, some pronounce it Steedman, Stedman, the soldiers hated him. They were making them, he was making them work on bridges on a dam on January 11th, excuse me, December 11th when it was zero. And uh, he was cursing them and berating them. And he turned his horse around and somebody picked up a dirt plot and hit him right in the back with it. Oh, and wow. he turned around and said, who did it? Who did it? Nobody said anything. If I find out who did that, I'm going to send him to hell. <laughs> and they rode off everybody laughing. Everybody's laughing. But he was just supposed to make a feint here and he pushed them too far too quick. Huh. And they got slaughtered. So this is just the, the jab with the hook coming at the Hillsborough Road redoubts and got them in a trap and they got slaughtered in this railroad cut and such and that was the first day of fighting that they would hit even worse on the second day at peach orchard hill peach orchard hill as well and so i wanted to make sure you, know, you and of course negley's right over there as well i want to make sure you could see this well, how did they get trapped up they, they jumping they, they didn't know it was there oh hell it, it was jump or die and it's 20 feet deep now yeah. it's what about 50 feet Apparently not. It, and they didn't think that, that there was oh, that 6 a.m. Yeah. Uh -huh. They had palisades and fogs out, whatever. They didn't know it was just the of the way in four McDonald's was either. Yeah. And that crack swung on them and shot the hell out of them. Shot the hell out of them. The Confederate battle line went right over there and then on down to the fairgrounds. The gold band's shooting on them, Granberry's shooting on them. They're coming from that direction. Uh, of course, you know, since in that way, this is the one that shot the hell. And they got caught twix and clean, and that's the end of it. And Joe Aldridge died too. The captain or the lieutenant was sitting up there in that room. Yeah, yeah. So let's mount up. Mm -hmm. We'll mount up. Mm -hmm. All right.